Hi everyone, welcome back to Catherine's Plates where it's always simple, easy, and delicious. And today we're talking scrumptious dessert. A strawberry punch bowl cake. It is perfect for any kind of gathering that you want to take a dessert to or even just make it for your own home, which is what I'm going to do. All right, we've got some deliciousness going on here. I'm gonna show you how we're gonna build this one up in a fun punch bowl here. All right, you ready? <laughs> Let's go ahead. So to get started, here are the ingredients you're going to need. And you're gonna need some fresh bananas vanilla pudding, crushed pineapple, some fresh strawberries, frozen strawberries, a cake mix plus the ingredients on the back of the package, and some heavy whipping cream to make our Cool Whip, or you can actually buy the frozen Cool Whip and just thaw it. All right, let's go ahead. The first thing we're gonna do is get the cake ready. All right, when I make a cake, from a cake box i like to create like a bakery style and that means i switch out some ingredients now to a medium bowl or a large bowl you want to add your cake mix this is a yellow flavor and it's a 15.25 ounce size box to that it says one cup of water i like to switch out one cup of milk three eggs then instead of the half a cup of vegetable oil, I like to put in half a cup of melted butter. Now I'm just going to use an electric hand mixer here and I'm going to beat this for about two minutes until it gets nice and fluffy. Okay, I like to take a cooking spray that has some flour in it and spray both of my pans. Now I'm using the nine inch pans. If you wanna use the eight inch pans, you can do that also. Just make sure that you grease and you flour your pans if you don't have a spray with um, flour in it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead now and place my batter equally into both pans. as even as you can. It is so fluffy. All right, we're just gonna spread it out evenly. Get the air bubbles out. Okay, our cakes are ready to go in the oven. I'm gonna bake them per the instructions on the back of the box per the pans that I am using. So I'm using nine inch pans and I will just be following the instructions for that. Okay, I'll be back. While the cakes are in the oven, what I'm going to do is start making the pudding. That way I can put it in the refrigerator and let it get really cold and set up. So I'm using a 5.1 ounce size box of vanilla pudding. And this is the instant pudding. So I'm just going to take a medium bowl here. Pour in the pudding mix. And then I've got two cups of cold milk that I'm going to add. And then I'm just going to take my electric hand mixer. I just have a whisk attachment to it, and I'm just going to beat this together until I get a really good pudding consistency. That's exactly what we're looking for right there. I'm just gonna cover this and then I'm gonna place it in the refrigerator until we're ready to pull it out and start building our punch bowl cake. All right, we're ready. We've got everything going here. What you want is a punch bowl or you can use like a large serving bowl. I've got one of my cakes that we've cooled completely and what I'm gonna do is just kind of cut this up into big cubes. We want big pieces here, about like that size here. And if you can keep them all, without <laughs> people coming by stealing your cake cubes, Quality that might work. control chip. Well, was it good? Yes, it was. <laughs> Bakery style cakes are always good, aren't they? Yes, they are. All right, so we're gonna put all of the cubes of the cake into the bottom of our punch bowl here. Okay, just like that. We're going to start the layering technique. Now what I have are bananas, Cool Whip, pineapple,
pineapple. Now this is crushed pineapple. Some frozen strawberries that I thawed and then the pudding that I made earlier. So we've got the cake cubes in our bowl. What I'm gonna do is place half of the pudding on top of the cake. I'm just gonna dollop it around and we just wanna kinda of smear it on there. That way it'll soak really good inside of there in the cake. Okay, so I'm using a can of crushed pineapple. This is 20 ounces, and I'm gonna take half of this and spread it over the pudding. Now I drained some of the juice out, not all of it. And, you know, I do like pineapple juice. <laughs> so I'm just gonna kind of spread it around on top. And I think we can go one more spoonful. Okay, next we're gonna put one package of frozen strawberries. Now it's really important that you pay attention to the size. This is a 10 ounce size. So if you're using a larger bag, just make sure you're putting 10 ounces on there. Okay, I'm gonna take one of the bananas. Might be two of the bananas. These are pretty small. I'm gonna slice it all over this layer. Oh yeah, I'm for sure gonna put another banana on there. Okay, now we've got 16 ounces of Cool Whip here and we're going to place half of it on top of the bananas. Now you can use Cool Whip that you get out of the freezer section, just thaw it, or you can make your own right here. This is what I've done here, 16 ounces of heavy whipping cream and I just beat that with a quarter cup of powdered sugar. The powdered sugar makes it very stable so that you can use this or you can have this dessert in the refrigerator for a couple of days and this won't break down into like milk. And then we're just gonna kind of cover everything so every bite has something. Okay, we're gonna start with the next layer of the cake. So that's the second cake that I made. Now if you made a nine by 13 cake, just cut it in half and use the half for the bottom and the half for the middle section here. What a fun dessert. Kind of one of those, just throw it all in there. How fun to make. What was the next layer? Pudding. So I'm just gonna dollop it around. It's easier when you dollop it around. That way you can get a nice spread on it. Okay, I think we had the pineapple. So that's the rest of the 20 ounce can here. So about 10 ounces of pineapple. Just try to drain a little bit out. I keep, keep handing bowls off to my husband. <laughs> He's cleaning out the bowls really good. <laughs> I had two little bits of pudding. <laughs> it was good too. Good, huh? So this is another package of 10 ounces of frozen strawberries that I thawed out. Another banana or two. The rest of the Cool Whip, eight ounces. And dollop that around. All right, we're gonna cover up everything with this Cool Whip. All right, there we go. There's our layers. Now I might be breaking some hearts here. Almost complete, but what we need to do at this point is we need to cover it, place it in the refrigerator overnight. What? <laughs> Overnight? I, I told you we were going to break some hearts. Oh, yes, because all the flavors and all the juices and, you know, everything have to meld together into the cake. It's going to be really delicious, okay? So I'll be back, and I'm going to finish this off for you, and then we're going to give it a try. All right, go find some room in your refrigerator. I made everybody eat leftovers. Get all that out of the refrigerator. So this can go in there. Okay, to finish the dessert off, I've got some fresh strawberries here that I've just rinsed off, dried off, and I'm just cutting off the tops here, and then I'm just slicing them. Okay, I pulled it out of the refrigerator. This punch bowl cake has been in there overnight. Oh, how many times has that refrigerator opened up and people are like, oh, is it ready? Not yet. All right. I'm ready to top this thing. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the plastic wrap off and then we're gonna finish this off. So come up a little bit closer and watch me do that. Now I have some extra creamy Cool Whip topping here or you can make your own homemade topping if you want and I'm gonna go around 
and complete this. All right, I've got my strawberries. Now this is the fun part. You can take your strawberries and do whatever you want to decorate the top of your punch bowl cake here. So I'm gonna go around the side here with my slices. Then I'm gonna to top it with a nice strawberry right in the center. There we go. That's how I'm decorating mine. If you want to fully complete it with your strawberries, then you can certainly do that. All right. What do y'all think? Ready to dig in? And just scoop down to the bottom so you can get all that cake. And that right there is a punch bowl cake. Mm -hmm. Who's ready for their slice? Thank you. <laughs> I need to go get another bowl. The take anywhere cake. Mm. That is so delicious. The cake absorbs all those delicious flavors. Mm. Okay, tell me how you're making your punch bowl cake. <laughs> this is amazing. Fun to make, easy to take anywhere. Heck, ours is going to make it to the living room. <laughs> it's not going to make it out the door, so. <laughs> All right, give me a thumbs up on this one. If you are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification so you'll always know when shows like this one here are posted. I will link my dessert playlist down in the description box. All right, guys, I will see you on my next episode.